Hello and welcome to this Pierce Trace tutorial video. Today I would like to show you how to make automatically a blank correction with your measurement. Also, I will add, for the sake of being complete, how to do a manual subtraction of your blank. Okay, as a setup today, I've just connected via Bluetooth my PoundSense 4 and then I have connected it to uh, a cell with classic electrodes. So um, a silver silver chloride reference, a platinum wire counter electrode and a platinum working electrode. Okay, so now we've cleared which setup we're going to use. Oh yeah, at the moment the solution in the cell is KCL, uh, so potassium chloride. And we're going to switch that to a ferricyanide solution later for the non-blank measurement. Okay, but let's immediately look in PS Trace how we're going to do a blank. Well, you have multiple options, but I will choose now to, um, to just start a measurement and just have a measurement. And you could, if you want to, select before the measurement to um, say that this is going to be your blank. This is if you know for sure this is your blank, very handy. Um, but sometimes, for example, you make a measurement, you make the first measurement, you find out something's not wrong or you want to do it three, four times just to make sure your system is stable. Right, then you, um, if you want after a measurement, decide that this is your blank measurement, you can click on the curve, so on the part that has the colorful checkbox in front of it, and then you can choose the uh, curve function. And the function that this curve should have is blank. So I do exactly that. It gets this little label to it and the curve is colored gray. We always color the blank, uh, the blank gray um, because usually the blank is not the curve you're interested in and where you want to have 100% of the attention. Okay, now, now we want for our um, future measurements that the blank is automatically subtracted. For this, we need to activate this button, use blank. However, at the moment we've chosen the option new when we start a measurement, which means the plot is cleared, so completely empty, so we wouldn't have a blank anymore, so it doesn't make sense that the button would be activated. So we need to choose overlay, and then this button becomes active and actually is already activated. You can just toggle it off if you don't want to use the blank for a certain measurement, um, but if it has a frame, it's toggled on and you can use the blank. Great, now we need to prepare our sample. Of course, I've already done that. I have here a small cell that I've filled with a ferricyanide solution and of course that is in potassium chloride. So it's the same solution that we previously had, but with the iron complex in it. Okay, now I will do in PS trace now the real measurement. Right, I just overlay the real measurement with this button activated. And first you will see the real measurement. So we'll perform the real measurement. And then the, um, and then you see now, you see both of the curves. You see the, the measurement that was actually measured, which is the blue one. And then you see the result of the blank subtraction. So the red curve. I mean, of course I've chosen an experiment where the uh, um, difference is not super extreme. But you see now we get a really nice uh, baseline that's almost zero. If I would do peak detection, you see that we get like very easily we can find our peak. So this is an automatic way of doing it, but maybe you have already a complete data set and you want to do blank subtraction there manually after you've performed your measurements. That's possible as well. I've actually already explained it in the uh, curve operations video. Um, so if you're looking for that in, in our YouTube channel, that would help you. But for the sake of being complete, I want to demonstrate that quickly here as well. So an alternative way of doing it. So let's say you had made these two measurements, um, but you have not made an automatic blank subtraction. So um, you could go to the curve operations window. I'm sorry, that's the, this one, the curve operations window. And um, you would choose then that you want to, from your original measurement, subtract the blank curve. And then you apply that and you see now this curve appeared, which is 
my original curve minus the blank. So this is a manual way of doing it. The result is of course the same as for the automated version, but well, it's good if you already have made your measurements. Right, so this is actually everything I wanted to tell you today about blank subtraction. Um, I hope this was helpful for you and if you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to go to our YouTube channel. There are a lot of PS Trace tutorial videos. Um, if you don't want to miss any of our news, I recommend following us on LinkedIn where we post regular updates. So thanks for watching and have a great day.